What is going on guys? <clears throat> Danny Gets Fit here. Just a quick little disclaimer before the video starts. Um, this is currently Monday, um, so you'll see this video tomorrow on Tuesday. And I usually do my weigh-in this morning, um, but I was late for work because my alarm didn't end up going off. And uh, so I forgot to film it. Um, so I apologize for this being a little bit later than usual. Essentially what I'm doing for you guys right now is uh, I'm getting up at like 6 in the morning so I can weigh in. I'm going to edit everything tonight and then do the weigh in and then like put it in the video and then upload it as soon as I can. So I'm going to get up really early just so I can have the video out guys. Close to what the normal time is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. What's going on? Danny Gets Fit here. I'm bringing you this video from my kitchen because uh, lighting and uh, and uh, it's a little bit different from my casual room and it's nighttime so there's like no light in there right now. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> welcome to week four of the summer sculpting. Week three of my uh, coaching program that I'm on and uh, so <clears throat> we'll start off with a weigh-in. So once again, as you saw the disclaimer at the beginning of the video, I'm doing this before I do the weigh-in. Um, so you'll see what I lost right here, um, or here, or wherever it is. <laughs> but this week's been really good. I actually just had one of the best workouts I've had in a while today. I ended up watching a video of Arnold uh, back in the day when he was lifting, and he used to do a lot of, um, like, not huge momentum but strict under tension momentum when lifting and that's something I incorporated a little bit today and felt it really burn my muscles a little more than I uh, used to. Um, wouldn't recommend doing this for people just getting started in the gym. I would definitely recommend it to people who have been in the gym for a while simply because if you don't do it right you could end up injuring yourself um, but if you do it properly you, it, it puts a greater weight um, on and tension on the muscle fully rather than like doing lighter weight, strict form, and then locking out. What you're doing is your, and unfortunately I didn't get any video footage of this today, um, but if you search Arnold rare training footage, you can watch it there. Essentially what it is, is just using a little momentum to get the weight down, and then keeping full tension on the muscle and never locking out fully. And I found that that was hitting, especially my back today, was hitting it so good. Like, it, the burn was like better than the burn I felt in a long time. The workout itself was just good. I ended up doing cardio after and just had like, like I didn't feel as, as worn out as I have been in the past week, which was awesome. When those days come where you feel better than usual, I would so recommend just doing, doing that extra set, doing that extra 10 minutes of cardio. If you're there and you're feeling good, do as much as you can before your body like tells you to stop, you know? You might as well take advantage of the situation. Um, so that's what I did today, ended up pushing myself to the maximum sets that I am doing in my coaching plan and I had a really, really good workout and I hope the rest of my week is going to go on like this. Um, <clears throat> anyways guys, uh, so we'll go on with the rest of the footage from this week. Um, this week I didn't do a lot of extra stuff so you're just going to see a lot of uh, workout footage and a little bit of uh, food and meals and stuff like that. But this week is good and um, thanks for watching guys and we'll talk to you later. Whoa, switched. What is up guys? Um, quickly filming uh, for my weekly sculpting video. Um, just decided today to take cardio outside, hike up a small hill in my local area. Um, this is my new camera, well not my new camera, my new phone, Samsung Galaxy S6. This is actually the front camera. So I guess you guys will see how, uh, I guess I'll, be able to see what you guys think of it so if I can use it for future vlogs and whatnot. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I possibly can here. But just want to kind of give you a quick relapse of my week. It was Canada Day yesterday or no two days ago. So I did a little bit of binging. I had about 300 calories of chips and candy. <laughs> um, but was able to knock out an extra 10 minutes of cardio. And I know that doesn't make up for all of it but it'll make up for some of it. 
And uh, I'm just gonna get back on track, and I have been on track for the last two days now. I'm sorry, just trying to get down the mountain safely here. Um, and this might be really shaky, but whatever. But yeah, I just wanna let you know, guys, like it's, it's, uh, it's completely all right to bend. So like it's, like obviously, if you didn't, it would, it would be nicer. But um, when you do, it, it gives you the, it give, it, let me actually change that. When you do binge and then you're not able to get back on track, that's when it can be hurtful. Um, but if you're able to binge and uh, get right back on track again and not worry about, I'm um, not have to worry about not let it affect you for the rest of the week to be able to just get your mind back from where it needs to be the next day. That shows you yourself that you have what it takes to uh, do it, do this for the long haul. And uh, the start, I did binging for a day and then all of a sudden it turned into a week. And obviously that's not ideal, um, but it's it's lessons learned. Like I've, I've, throughout this year and two months, two year and three months, I've learned a lot when it comes to um, letting yourself experience the troubles and also the success that comes with this journey. It's not just all about success. It can't be. It's nothing in this world has been done with just full out, um, no issues. Like nothing's been done ever before when the person has gone, I'm gonna do this. And then along the way, they just have perfect, you know, luck and success and just, and then they're like, oh, that was totally easy. Let's just uh, do something else now. No, life doesn't work like that way, unfortunately. It'd be awesome if it did, but I feel like we would be a pretty boring species if it did. And this is gonna be a long little chat here, I guess. Well, no, it's almost three minutes. Um, but I just wanna let you know, like, don't, don't let yourself get down on you. If you do, get right back up again and uh, start moving forward, because that's what's gonna better you in the long run. That's what's gonna help you grow. Um, so I love you guys. Thanks for continuing to watch this video. Thanks for continuing, continuing to support me. And uh, I have no idea where this is gonna take me, but I know where I want it to take me. I wanna, I wanna do this for the rest of my life. I never wanna say goodbye to you guys. So uh, love you, and we'll continue on the week. It's uh, Sunday today, and uh, Brian Turner recently put out a video about making a like stir fry with like high volume. So that's what I'm actually doing today. Uh, we got a package of green bean sprouts, package of stir fried vegetable, 
medley. And then I got some pork loin right there. That I'm gonna fry up first, and then uh, we'll show you guys as I uh, go along. Meal done. <clears throat> so, uh, that's the, I'll call it the uh, Beyond the Week special stir fry. <laughs> um, I've definitely ate stir fry before, but not that, that much volume. Um, and I actually made so much that uh, my roommate's gonna have some too. Um, so I tracked a little bit less than I ate. So, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys, and we'll continue this summer sculpting series. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, like the video down there with a thumbs up, because I know you will. Make sure you comment below. Also, subscribe if you aren't subscribed so you can follow along with the rest of the summer sculpting journey. And if you haven't watched the previous episodes, please go and do that. That would be wicked, and you can see the start of this journey to the end. Um, anyways, guys, thanks again, and until next time, until next time, stay swole, my friends. Stay swole.